Good morning. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm Tina and today we are going to Mount Pocono for a church rummage sale. So I have never been to this one but I figured why not check it out. You know I like to explore different places and rummages and sales and towns everything like that. So anyway got the Ikea bag in the back. Let's go see what we can find at this rummage sale. All right, so this is the church. It doesn't look like anyone is here yet. Um, I do see a car pulling in, so maybe I should go start a line. Or at least put my bag down. Serious shoppers, that's right. <laughs> All right, we got let in early, which is nice. Just gonna take a quick Quick look around here. Check out the shoe section. Mm. Just moments. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that is. <laughs> that is. That's really cool. I guess it's really nice to see, like picture frames though with people's pictures. <laughs> yeah, some of them are interesting for sure. Did you come across any needle point stuff? Um, By any chance? Yeah, if I could, please. Thank you. I might even leave my bag up there. <laughs> could I leave my bag sure. here too? Thank you. And I'll get, I'm going to grab like a box or something. If that's okay.
but I think I'm gonna get it for ten dollars. Making all kinds of noise. this too. I'll sure. put it back here with my stuff. Yep. Thank you. isn't. Never heard of that. Alright. Oh, there's more shoes up top. Gentle soles. Or a dollar. Okay, that's good. Um, clothes don't look super exciting to me. Um, hmm. A dollar each or five for a grocery bag. See if we see anything. Mm, not really. Little kids' Nikes are cute. Oh, they have a ton of wear though. Mm. All right, so that wasn't too bad. I ended up spending. $45 in total and I think I should probably be probably be able to get that back with that German um, cuckoo clock so hopefully fingers crossed it looks like it's all there um, we'll see so anyway I will show you everything I got when we get back to the warehouse alrighty guys so let's get into this rummage sale haul so I spent $45 for everything and this is what I got. So picked up some random things such as this little wreath that looks to be handmade. Probably someone picked this up on vacation. Uh, if you guys know anything about this, let me know, but I liked it. So I picked it up. Um, then I got two of these actually, Animal Jam. Um, they look like they've been resealed. They have some issues. I might lot these together for maybe like 15 bucks plus shipping. Uh, put those out of the way. I also got two of these 
puzzle balls. Now these have been opened. They're Christmas puzzle balls, both in different designs, but I have sold these before. I've sold them sealed, but I mean, these are complete. They're starting to come apart a little bit, but you put them together and then you can actually like a little string here. You can actually hang them on the tree. I'm afraid if I push that, the whole thing is going to collapse, so I'm not going to do it. But anyway, I'm going to lot, lot these together. Can't remember what I sold my sealed one for, but if I remember, they did all right. Uh, then I got a sealed puzzle. It's got some it's got some issue here. The shrink wrap's coming off a little, but it's still sealed. This is, oh, let's see, over 650 straight edge pieces and 16 corner pieces. So... This is like a weird bells and whistle jigsaw puzzle. That looks like a tough one. All right, and then as far as shoes, I got these pair of ASOS size seven, pair of sandals, look to be in pretty good condition, a little bit of wear, uh, these gentle soles. These have a little bit of wear too, but not a whole lot. I think mainly from storage because the bottoms look pretty clean. Gentle soles is a Kenneth Cole brand. Uh, these used to do really, really well. Um, now, not as much, but they still do okay. And these are a size 11 medium, so I think they'll do all right. Really nice pair of shoes. I got this little kitty cat trinket box. Picked this up at the very end. This enameled metal. She is super cute. Actually, she looks like a bride. She's carrying roses. She's got a veil. That's what she is. She's a little bride kitty cat. So maybe 15, 20 plus shipping on her. Picked up a master lock. You never know when I'm gonna get into storage units again. I've only ever done one, but there may be one in my future. We'll see what happens. Uh, then this is a beauty. I do need to clean it up because it is very, um, I don't know, dusty maybe? But this is a beauty. This is a Murano looks to be an ashtray, cigar tray, perhaps. It's got these big little dips here. But yeah, this is beautiful. After I clean it up and it really shines, it's got the Aventurine in there. Uh, it's just a really nice, really nice piece, if you ask me. Picked up this Moen Retreat towel ring you never know when someone's gonna need to complete their bathroom set so I picked that up not sure how much it's gonna go for yet this I thought was pretty cool so I did pick this up it is signed on the back um you know again something someone probably picked up in their travels but it's very colorful I liked it this right here is kind of like a Tonala style hanging plate it's weird because the hooked hang is here, so it would hang like that. I would think maybe it should hang like that. Like that? <laughs> but no, it hangs like this. Anyway, this is made in Mexico and it is signed. Looks like it might have had a little crack in it and got fixed by the person who was actually making it. Doesn't look, well, maybe not. I don't know. Do you see that right there? It's like right up that way. And you can see it on the other side. I don't know. Anyway, pick that pick that one up. It's gonna have another crack by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> oh boy, you guys know me. Here's a pair of man's lens. A pair of men's lands and pants. <laughs> Woo! Getting ahead of myself here. Uh I don't know, I can't, I can't really tell what size they are from the outside of the package. Oh, maybe 40, 32, Heather Gray. New, can't go wrong. These are Le Baroque, design in France. It is a carving set. Not familiar with that brand, but I figured I would add it to my bag. This is a Pier One salad set, never been opened. That's nice. Serveware set, utensils. And then we have this little guy. 
uh, gonna have to look more into him again. I think someone picked him up on vacation. Looks like an onyx piece, some mother of pearl inlay, um, all different other kinds of stones. I've sold like a larger type thing before, which was like a mask, uh, but that was a while ago. So I'm not quite sure about this guy, but yeah, got him. Got this little bird also in Mexico. Looks like a Tanala kind of bird, although it doesn't have the glossy finish. It's got more of like a matte, like rough stone finish. I thought it was cute. And this right here is a T and V, which is Tresemin and I believe it's Vote. I believe that's how it's pronounced, V-O-G-T. Um, hand painted, it's signed by the artist. This is pretty old. This was probably like a mayonnaise bowl or like a sauce bowl. And this should go for probably about $25, $25 $30 maybe. I've sold some of this TNV France. Um, I sold two plates. They were from the 1800s. And I picked them up. They were also hand painted. They were beautiful. I picked them up at a rummage for ten dollars a couple of years ago and i ended up selling them for 200 bucks um so yeah tnv is one to look out for i mean it's not all equal but some of it can do really well and i think this piece is just really beautifully painted all right so then i picked this guy up saint he's the patron of gardeners i don't even know how you pronounce that f-i-a-c-r fiacre Fiaker? Uh, I don't know. It's a little kind of stoneware. I think it's, oh, it's like cement. There's a couple nicks in it. It's um, like a cement, like little wall hanging. I grabbed the strangest things at rummage sales. Ooh. So that is the back. Alrighty, and then... I picked this up. This is a little uh, AM FM radio. Some of this, like some of these obscure like electronics actually do sell. This is new in the package. So that is why I picked it up. I wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't new in package. Uh, but this guy, I'm thinking maybe like 15 free shipping. This is not going to be like a crazy, you know, score or anything. Kobe, I believe was like you know, a lower end brand to begin with, but at rummage sale prices, you can't go wrong. So then I think I've shown you everything except for this guy. This has a couple different pieces. So I have to be careful here. Uh, this, hopefully it's got all of the pieces. This was in a box and they were going to charge me an extra $2 for like the little like fabric box. And it was like really beat up and I really did not want it. So they put this in a bag and here it is. So this is, it is marked made in Germany. And a little cuckoo clock here. I'm gonna take the back off to see what the back looks like. Maybe I'll do that later. Uh, anyway, it's kind of the strings are wrapped up. We have two of the pine cones, the heavy weighted pine cones. Um, and then these pieces go on it. This, I don't know where that goes. Oh, there's the little birdie. Uh oh, I'm not going back in. Go back in, go back in. I don't want to break it. Marked West Germany on the front. I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. Where does this go? I literally have no idea. And this goes on here too somewhere. Where the heck does this go? All right, so I'm confused because the last one I sold had like little, the last one I sold had little spots like to put this in. This one, oh, this one doesn't appear to. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm 
I think it goes on the roof. Ah! It goes on the roof. But where's this one go? I still don't know where that one goes. Maybe it hangs. Nope, not there. Um, where's this one go? You guys have any idea? I'm gonna have to look. Maybe I can find something on eBay, but now I don't know how to get that little bird closed either. Like, what have I done? Oh, there it is. That's where this goes. It hangs on the bottom. And it probably moves. Just like it's doing. I don't know if it'll continue to move. Um, yeah, so this is in nice condition, but I have no idea if it's in working order. <sighs> but I still think I should get a decent amount for this. Um, I'm thinking this should probably bring at least 45 and pay for the sale. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Drop it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the rummage sale. It was exciting to get out and check, check out a new one. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.